seatbelt, this is the radio, it got a ding, 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 and the radio's playing. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm supposed to meet her at 2.30, it's 2.18. Fortunately, I'm not far from where I'm meeting her at. I hope I'm talking loud enough for you to hear me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I had a rush to take shower, wash my hair, because I took down my um, I took down my screen house and I wanted to get some things taken down and get ready to leave because I'm going to be headed out. So after after I have dinner with my friend, I am going to run over to get some supplies at the grocery store. I'm getting prepping, getting prepared for the next few days. You never know what tomorrow may bring. So I am getting some water and some gas for my generator and because um, I'm going to be boondocking. I was going to go to Cecil Webb which is a wildlife management um, hunting ground uh, gun range campground this is where last year we got together as nomads for our nomads in paradise yeah and um, if you watched our videos we were there for Christmas and New Year's and I was gonna go back there for another week go back there this year for just I was just, just gonna go for a week until uh, the 18th which was Martin Luther King's birthday uh, actually, I could go. Have, would have to leave on the nineteenth. So, um, they, because of the hunting season. So, I was going to go there just for that, you know, until then. However, with everything going on in our climate right now, I thought I I should be someplace that I know that I won't have to leave or won't be asked to leave or won't get shut down uh, for any reason so I um, have decided to go back to my uh, favorite boondocking boondocker welcome place and that is uh, where I was recently at and they've been gracious enough to let me come back there so I'm going to go back there and I'm going to boondock over there They've always got a, a yard full of people, and it's always fun there to camp out with them. And I want to make sure I have everything I need. I have my solar, and I'll have some gasoline for my generator should I want to watch TV, even though, you know, because at nighttime I don't want to run my battery battery down by using the inverter. So if, um, you know, if I have a little bit of gasoline to just run my, if I want to watch a little TV or use my computer or you know, talk to my son or whatever, I could do that, you know, and yeah, I'll be, it'll be fun, and I could uh, hang out there for a little bit, and then we'll see what else I could do, I mean, there'll be some field trips, hopefully, that I could take, and I, this traffic is crazy. My friends are already, we're going out back. So they've driven down here and um, to meet me. Last time I drove closer down to their house. I really would have loved to go play some bingo. <laughs> but there's a bingo place I used to go to all the time when I lived here. But I'm watching my finances. Although when I go to the Keys, I will probably stop at the casino and spend three days there because I can camp at the casino for three days with an electric hookup for free, complimentary. Three days with electric hookup at the casino in the southern portion of Naples in Immokalee. It's an Indian reservation, Indian casino. 
and they have Indian bread. If you've watched my previous videos when I've been here in this area, I've talked about how much I love Indian bread, but I might taste it. I've really been watching my diet and um, I'm trying to lose some weight to put on some, no, what can I say? Here I go. I'll talk to you. can't see <laughs> so you know and I didn't say nothing when I first got them but um so I still can't see out of them so I have to take them off to drive I can read with them really well so the reading portion is really good but the The top for distance and for stigmatism is horrible. I can't read the signs. I can read the signs better without my glasses on than with my glasses on. I can wear both contacts like all day long, but at nighttime when I have my reading contact on, you know, for reading, it bothers me. It, and a lot of other people told me that they had that issue also. So, I don't know. I'm thinking that this doctor should have kept me in my prescription that I had before instead of changing my prescription on me because I was seeing just fine with my old contact prescription. And, yeah. And I've spent a lot of money on contacts. I had a great time with my friend Stella and her other half at dinner at Outback. Food was great and I was able to bring Danny some steak home for dinner. She was so happy. So now I'm on my way to go to my brother's house to get my sticker for my license plate for my trailer. Um, even though my trailer sticker that's on the car shows it, it's expired if they were to look it up in the computer it's not expired I have renewed it I just don't have the actual physical sticker on the car on the trailer so um, my nephew was really kind and he went and picked up my mail for me I have his name on my mailbox and he went and got my mail and um, sent it to my brother's house so that I could get my sticker and stick it on my trailer since I'm not going directly home. Yeah. I saw a really nice Class A. I, I just passed it now. I, I think I might go back and look at it tomorrow. 9900 which is a good deal. Depends on how old it is. It depends on what's wrong with it <laughs> and what it looks like on the inside. You know, all those variables. But anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go pick up my sticker and my mail from my brother's house. I did have a surprise visit today from a viewer. And her name is Sandra. And she stopped by at my campsite um, at the RV park. We, visit, we had a little visit, and um, which was really nice. And she's getting ready to go on the road shortly here as soon as she can she's gonna she's getting her rig ready and getting that ready to go traveling really nice lady thanks for stopping by sandra i should have got a picture of us but actually i really wasn't um i 
wasn't presentable for pictures. I mean, well, you know, everybody's seen me really at my worst, but I just wasn't feeling the picture thing earlier. But when it, while she was there, I got the cutest pictures of the the birds. <laughs> and as you just saw before in my clip, the the birds that were like we're just walking down the street, you know, do 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 do. Yep, they were just walking down the road. I was thought it was so funny. I had to share that with y'all. They're going somewhere. <laughs> I'm doing laundry. So what does she do? She gets on top of my bed. Get off of there. You're dirty. Go on. And then she's got to figure out how to get down because she don't want to get down on the steps there below her on the platform because the apples are there. A little stinker. So today I'm getting doing laundry and get doing my everything, sheets and towels and pajamas. Do you ever notice that during this time, during this, during this CV-19 thing, that you're washing more pajamas than clothes? And you'll never guess who I met while I was doing laundry. I met Kai. And I'll show you who Kai is. Every day when Danny and I take a walk, a two mile walk around this RV park, I walk past this one trailer, RV uh, park model. And I see this big cage and I mentioned before I think I had it in one of my previous videos that hmm somebody's got a big birdie here but nope not a big birdie this is Kai everybody see Kai he's a monkey look at him isn't he so cute oh my goodness he's just so adorable look at him how many pounds is he one. one pound? Yep. Oh my God, he's only one pound. And he's so adorable. He looks like he has a little mane like a lion. Those are his ear tufts. His what? Ear tufts. Oh, his ears? Yeah, those are the tufts around his ears. Oh, the cuts around his ears. He looks just like a, oh, there he goes. Here he comes. Let's see. Oh, he's, he's got his diaper on. He sees me. He wants to come out. Hi, Kai. His name is Kai. That's his, I don't know if you see the glare, but there's his claw. Oh, how adorable. Oh, there he goes. He went away. Oh, there he comes back. Let's see if he comes back. They got a little glare. There he is again. He's watching his mom doing laundry over there. Look at that. He's almost like a lion color. I've never seen one that color. Look at that. Is that his little chair? To sit and look in. That's his chair to sit and look in the window? Yeah, I oh, did it for him. Cute. He sits in that chair and looks out the window. He's like, who's that lady? Getting, what's she sticking in the window taking pictures of me? <laughs> what's that? Isn't he cute? So the doggies, Kai. There he is. He's a squishy cow. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's got Batman pants. He's got Batman diaper covers on. He's looking right at me. Isn't he so cute? No, really want to know if I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. 
can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down